Bubba's friend. Let's get ready to rumble! What does that have to do with Boba Fett? Let's get ready to rumble! The, the, the rumble of the of the Sarlacc stomach. Rumble well, in the Sarlacc pit. Oh, do you think they'll finally reveal rumble? he's been in there the whole time? So, yeah, well, that works it, was a, it was a fever dream. It was a complete fever dream. That's a robot chicken joke. Put that in the edit. Back from the dead, assholes! Take a leg of man, Snowflakes and Kudos and Good dog! What are you gonna do? Oh, if only you could see what I hear. <laughs> Boba! The whole thing was just a dream? Rumble in the jungle only really works because it rhymes. So, you know, I think we need something that rhymes with desert Rumble in or the jungle. with Tatooine or with Jabba's palace, you know, like Flabber's Gallus, you know, that kind of thing. Flabber's Gallus sounds like a Jedi warrior. But it does, actually. Flabber's Gallus. And he, he, has he takes flaps. everything very he seriously. He definitely has cheek Yeah, he would He does. Flaps. You wouldn't think that He's based like, on if it's very silly name. Preposterous. <laughs> that's definitely who he is. He eats his own cum. Yeah, no, he, that's, no he doesn't. He really either. doesn't at all. No one does, does that, Jay. And if they do, Dallas it's by does. accident. Don't Trying come. to make a serious Jedi character, and you're coming yep. all over it. Serious character can have flaws. I think that's allowed. That's not Flabber's a flaw. Gallus and his so tomb chalice. To eat your own semen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad we yes. got that on record. Especially from Jay. That feels like a character assassination. Yeah. What if the does, Jedi have yeah. their it's semen like extracted from them with the Force? Yeah. It's scene with, with Magneto from X-Men, except instead of too much iron, it's There's too much cum, cum, in, cum in your blood. <laughs> too much cum in your blood. Mr. Lorio never trusts a beautiful woman, especially one who's interested in cum. It's, it's a little cum bowl so that he can break oh, out God. of prison. <laughs> this changes <laughs> Mystique's playing a great deal. I have to inject him with cum, or maybe they just hire a guy to fuck him but when they were organizing <laughs> all this. Three minutes into the recording, we're already here. Okay. I haven't even realized what happened yet. Here's a great fucking meme. All right. What a great meme. Oh my fucking oh, yeah. god. <laughs> no way, no way, no it, way. It doesn't, no, no, it no, doesn't no, get no, better no than way. this, guys. That no is way. 10. It doesn't really? get better than this. 10 out of 10. 10. Out of 10. This. This, this is, is the real. Peak. 10 this out of 10. 10. Real. I'm not even going to act surprised. Why? But I'm, 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 I <laughs> why? But why? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by this. I'm surprised a little bit. <laughs> ten no. out of ten. I've seen I've seen enough of those we, movie verdicts that are insane. The so. amount yeah. of hesitation <laughs> we have on ever giving anything that kind of score because it's just like well, that's you know, just like you get a ten out of ten lightly. and you get a ten out of ten. <laughs> You're a nine. You get a ten out of ten and you eight and a half. But you ten out of ten. Hmm. I'm okay with any reviewer who wants to just use ten as like that. I liked it a lot score, but and, and they don't really deserve anything for perfection. Are, I'm not. So, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> well, so the thing is, is that I don't like it, but as long as you're consistent with yeah. it, in, in that that's what it means, that's okay. I guess the thing is, I've watched enough Angry Joe that I remember 10 out of 10 meant legendary by his scale. I, like, mm. legendary. That's pretty fucking high. Well, like, but, the, the obvious you know, question like, is, wait, you think it couldn't possibly be improved? Yes, that's the immediate one. It's perfect. But hey... Like, fine. I'm glad he enjoyed it. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I don't like this water. This isn't going to work. I grew up around water. <laughs> He's wearing a little plaid shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is inaccurate. He wouldn't be wearing the helmet. He yeah, like wearing I was about to say. Boba Fett is known for many things, and wearing a helmet is just not one of them. All right, now this top tier meme. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Tuscans? Do you give them a chance? Did you? <laughs> What if the bikers are just like, yeah, I gave them like five chances. I was like, please return my son to me. And they were like, no, please. Or like, I'll shoot you. No, please. No. We'll pay you. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, we just want our people that you kidnap back. No. Well, I mean, I guess um, this is what your if, choice then. What if on a day of relaxation, he's taking an afternoon off of his very hard work that Boba Fett does. He goes downtown to a bar and he's enjoying himself uh, himself a nice Tatooine sunrise or something like that a, a Tauntaun extravaganza that whatever exotic a drink sunrise <laughs> that's true Look at you. and so he's sitting there at the bar enjoying his beverage and then a bunch of bikers walk in they say man that was sure fun how he killed all those Tuscans because that was us you bet it was and so then he's like oh shit I killed the wrong bikers yeah. I just saw oh, bikers and fun, I killed yeah. them and I blew them up and then here they are he's like oh my goodness gracious am I bad at my job and he's like oh, they all, no. they all just, no. those bikers they look the same and the bike is like, whoa. Whoa, wow. 
bikes. Oh my goodness. Bikers are a diverse race. All kinds <laughs> the of bikers the bikers race. race. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were racing across the Dune Sea. Yep. The racers. Oh, nice. The desert riders. Ride or the die. Dune, and some... they did so, they did both. The show would simply not have been able to handle like anything. How Boba would have reacted if the Tuscans took another slave while he was there with them. <laughs> they didn't show that. That's exactly the kind of thing you have to show to explore Boba's relationship to the Tuscans if he's gonna be staying with them. Is oh okay, so how does he feel about the kind of stuff that, that we've already seen they do and the thing that they did to him? Because if we had like a scene where the Tuscans were taking another slave and he goes up and like maybe uh sort of acts all high and mighty above this slave, um, you might get an impression of, oh, you know, he actually believes in the whole, well, if you're strong and superior, then you'll be respected. But if you're not, then you won't. And that's his that's his belief system. He actually respects the um, Tuscan's attitude of, yeah, well, fuck you if you're weak, but if you're strong, we'll respect you. And I can see, you know, a mercenary like Boba Fett from the original trilogy going for something like that. There are loads of other interesting ways that you could take his character reacting to that. No. And that's the kind of thing that you need to explore to actually get an understanding of who he is in relation to the events that have happened to him and why he's apparently now cool with these people who enslaved him. Shut up, you clown. Sorry. You're absolutely I... right. There's no freaking way they could <laughs> handle that. No, yeah, well, no, there's not. If I was trying to expand on Boba's character and already set with the events of episode one, it's like, yeah, he gets kidnapped by the Tuscans and then he uh, starts to uh, live with them and, and he like impresses them and he sides with them. That would be like, oh, can I write this from episode two? Like, because that feels like the best and most efficient way to explore his character beyond that. <laughs> 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 Why does this keep getting remastered? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god, like look, at it, look at it. Right, look at it. sitting at the back there with it. Yeah, vomiting. vomiting with the banter. <laughs> the banter. <With> the banter. <laughs> Imagine what foulness has to take place for a bantha to vomit. Mm, it's... I like the little cloak. It just makes it look more evil and sinister. <laughs> like, I don't want anyone to see me doing this. The, Even though it's in broad daylight. Yeah, I love this image. And it's um very important, I would say. Oh, yeah. Terminator being like, I shoved a gun up a badger's ass. He's like, what? I shoved an explosive up a bantha's ass. Amateurs. What was that punk? Amateurs. <laughs> the C4 rancor. C4 up a rancor's ass. It was just all C4, right? That was the plan. He's like, oh, what's good more. about C4 is that you could mold it into different shapes, which would make passing it through the anus of a rancor all the easier to do. You don't want it blocky. That's actually the reason that I normally use C4 as my go-to explosive. Yeah, yeah. Original tweet says, explain to me how this is a practical ship for a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter who at one point had so many bounties he had to keep them all in an ice tray in his refrigerator. Wow. It's almost like narratively they've set up the idea that Din is moving away from his life as a bounty hunter and is wanting to embrace his desire to have a family with Grogu what? and redefine what it means to be a Mandalorian. Media literacy, what a concept. So this is a sad person. Um, and I, I think there's this idea going around that he's not bounty hunting anymore, which is weird in the episode where he literally does bounty hunting. Yeah, yeah. that's how the episode yeah. begins. I don't know where anyone yeah. got this from. If the episode well, yeah, we, about to we, watch we... has him not give up bounty hunting, I'll be like, where the fuck did that come from? That's yeah, you well, just made that shit up because you have to clap a product. Hunting, though, like he, he wanted a Razor Quest. That's what he wanted. He wanted he a, razor, want a quest. razor quest. He said he wanted a, a razor quest. That's right. <laughs> because and that's what he said because he wanted. Mando does two things in this last episode. He bounty hunts and he travels long distances through space. Wants How it. can you argue he doesn't want a razor crest anymore when he literally came well, there well, for a razor they're, crest? They're, they're not arguing he doesn't want one. Maybe they're arguing that it's a subconscious desire. He doesn't know what he down. wants. That's right. He, he doesn't know what he really wants. You know, it he sounds knows. like to me is you try to. He knows that he wants a star. You try to justify <laughs> <laughs> getting a Nabru starfighter. That's well, it. I'm just, what, like I like do, what I like to do is um, as soon appeal. as it becomes that absurd to even try to steal a man someone's position, you've just got no hope. I, I just like the appeal to like, you're bad with media literacy. It's like, you're making shit up. You're That's making not... shit up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, how can I explain that that it's it, this is perfect. This this is just the well, perfect it's... thing. I, oh, I like let's it's... make let's make shit up about he doesn't want to be a bounty hunter anymore. The, I think this sure. is uh, just uh, emblematic of, uh, I guess, a sort of a problem that uh, I think we tend to notice, which is that it's like you're looking for maybe what they intended or what you want out of the story that works 
but it just does not line up with what is in the story. He said he wanted a Riser Crest. Because yeah. that would be a good ship for him based if he on didn't its get many, many the, things it can do. Well, well, I feel like the easy thing is, if he didn't get offered a Naboo Starfighter, am I supposed to believe that he would have fought for one? Like a ship that would have been better suited for- And and also, how is this even a better ship? How is it not better to have the Razor Crest so that well, Grogu so... can have like a little room while you travel around on your adventures? Yeah, so like- Instead, he has to sit in a little pod. So yeah, yeah the that's, that's the big question, right? Is apparently he wants to become a family man? So he and he needs, wants to buy a Naboo Starfighter. He wants to buy a, wants a nimble well, Starfighter with mounted dude, it, weaponry. It, it, it's literally like, hey, I, I want to, I want a, a nice family car. Well, look, this two seater Ferrari. It's pretty with, great choice. No, no, no. It's with mounted machine one guns. Ferrari. With mounted with machine, machine guns, guns. You're right? Yeah, it's the the worst car that you the, like. This is a vehicle. A, a starfighter is. It has one purpose, which is to blow up other little ships. Yeah, right. Man, it's, that's so he what wants the purpose to move away from his desire generally, to hunt bounties. <laughs> It's so generally can, parked like, near where you want to use it because you know it, it's docked into a bigger ship or it's like uh, on planetary defense and it's kept yeah. on the planet it's defending well, it's, it's, and you're locked into this little pod. It's like the oh. Simpsons episode where <gasps> Homer Yay. buys Marge a bowling ball for her birthday. Happy birthday to you! You bought that bowling ball for you, not for me. What? No. You had your name engraved on it. So you'd know it's from me. Homer, I'm keeping the ball for myself. What? But you don't know how to bowl. And the fucking media literacy people are like, well, you don't understand. It's actually what she wanted subconsciously because she ended up bowling with it. It's like, did you watch the episode? <laughs> that is not what happened. <laughs> like, Think about the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. How many things simply would not be possible if he didn't have the Razor Crest or and instead had a Starfighter? The perfect ship for Mandalorian, as some people are apparently saying. You cannot take anyone with you. You cannot take anything with you, really. You have so the Razor Crest had a bed to sleep in, perfect for traveling long distances through space, which he did in this fucking episode. It has an armory. Uh, it has an armory, which, which has all of his guns and equipment that he doesn't Never really use. use, but they're there for him anyway. He has the little mini carbon freezing chamber, so he can store all of his bounties as he goes he out. Keep food in it. He can keep food in there. He has Multiple room to prisoners. move around. He has a bathroom. In he there. can keep all his guns. He Why has he room for other fighter? people to bring with on his, him on his lap. Well, yeah, it's on his lap. Because well, yeah, because what if what if Mando needs to pick someone else up? Well, some of it, like, you know, some of it to be in the uh, in the astromech slot in the little children bubble. I think. Yeah, I think imagine that's Gina Carano inside of that little bitty pod back there <laughs> when he hired her. When he's like, "Hey, I need your help to go do something," and she she fits in that little thing with her head poking up. Like, yeah, oh, like, I can't move and I have to pee. A Naboo Starfighter is really cool. It just ain't. It's not. It no matter how much you try and justify it, don't make sense. So shut up. It's just not. It useful. is sad and yeah. pathetic. Well, I guess Stop we'll have to see how he it. uses it going forward, right? I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to see how many situations that there definitely won't be oh. where it's just like, man, wouldn't a ship that you can put <laughs> things in be really useful here? Wouldn't it be useful if you like need? Especially well, if you don't have thing, a place to live. Ignore how long it takes to travel across the galaxy, oh, like it's... they've been doing yeah. for ages. And again. He doesn't have a home. He doesn't live anywhere. But like, nope. so I, I I, that, yeah. is he gonna live inside of that seat on the yes? Yes. Or is is he gonna pay for accommodations everywhere instead mm -hmm. of a razor crest that has a like a lockdown security mode in a bed? Like, what what are we Jabba's fucking Palace doing? Is now his home. I wouldn't be surprised if in season three he steps into the 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 starfighter and it's just a whole big room in there. But he's just like oh, no, like malignant. Me. <laughs> yeah. well, I was about to say that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the outside of the house is much smaller than the inside. It's like the Doctor Who. It just keeps getting uh, bigger. Phone booth every the time. <laughs> we see in Tatooine, fucking constantly. And then we try to like speculate why that could even have been the way that it is. And uh, the subreddit was like. You know what Luke has to say about Tatooine and the OT? It's just like, get the yeah. fuck out. There's a bright center of the universe. You're on the planet that it's the farthest from. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> man. Oh, and yet, no. we spend all the time at Tatooine, which I assume we'll be seeing a lot more of it again today. I don't know. Um, I fucking hate Tatooine. We someone like the thread that was on, I think, some Star Wars subreddit about, like, what's the worst nitpick you've heard of Star Wars? All this comment. 
says, Maulers, why do stormtroopers have laser versions of medieval weapons? It's not like the most iconic thing about Star Wars, the laser sword or anything. Talking about laser axes, which are retarded. It felt to me in TLJ like an idiot had taken over because they're like, well, you have laser swords, so why not laser axes? And it's just like, but that doesn't serve the same purpose. Could you imagine a Jedi walking around with just the laser axe where it's that tiny piece that's lasered up as opposed to the whole sword? And so like trying to maybe block blaster shots with that would be pretty funny. Well, that is, that does entirely defeat the purpose of the weapon. Lightsabers are kind of dumb too. The only <clears> reason they work is because they're kind of engineered by the plot to sort of work. I'm more than happy yeah. for them to work in conjunction with a Jedi. I don't think they're viable with normal people. Um, if it means that you have such a focus that you're able to dodge and block uh, like laser blasts, I can see those are scenarios where that's really, really good. I don't know that normal people are able to do that, though. Um, this person's tag is Dave Filoni likes TLJ. Die mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> He I'm, seems I'm, to be just as I, bad of a writer as Ryan well, Johnson. That, so that, that lines understand. up to me. Of course he likes DLJ. Yeah, of course he? he does. He's the, yeah. the garbage I've seen him write. I mean, the there are definitely going to be some people who are mad about that, right? The um, sure. Mando yes. was great. But... Some people think he's talented. He's probably done something at some point. I'm sure that in the next episode he directs, one of his cartoon characters is going to show up in the Mando Why would you Boba say Fett that? show. <laughs> I have not. I, I, um, I, have. I was thinking about like that, uh, that, uh, that I was just like, oh yeah, I should have read the, the response, which uh, says, the laser axes are a little silly, since axes rely on weight to provide force for cuts and stuff, which isn't needed when you use a laser. They could have used a vibro sword or something, it would have been better. Then again, Star Wars is a franchise about space wizards and space Nazis. Who cares? Oh, you had such a good part. You had course. us in the beginning there. Oh, you were so good. It's, it's, oh. But so you do cares? care because you posted this. <laughs> Star Wars just has a crashed magic right into a so wall. It. it doesn't matter. You had it it's all in your hands. Window. The whole and thread in concept is like what a nitpick. So, what, so implying that there are there are criticisms that are for real and good, and it's like, nah, who cares? It's like, well, you care. Everyone in this thread cares. Well, I mean, mean, yeah. Does that fit into the definition that we use of nitpicking that it's a very small, valid criticism? I think so. I think that the axe is silly and, and wouldn't be made in that universe for that purpose, but ultimately it changes fuck all. So oh, especially because um, we just see it as an executioner's weapon, right? It's not actually being mm. used in the field as far as we see. It wouldn't matter where it's being used. I'm, I'm suggesting well, yeah, it doesn't exactly. make it's, sense it, for it to have been created. It's stupid. Yeah, it, it's stupid for it to be created, right? But at least they're not using it in the field where it would actually be... Um... Well, yeah, like if some legendary Jedi was to be... F well, legendary fucking guy, whatever, uh, and that was his weapon, I'd be like, what? That's silly. But, like you the know. Uh, lightsaber umbrella from Legend. Yes. Not Legends no. from uh, Visions. Le um, Visions is cringe from everything I've seen of it. It's really cringe. And now... Comment showcase, do the noises. No. So you're going to evolve that into just going. <laughs> screaming at the top of my lungs. Just screaming at the top of my lungs. No, Fanic. I can't hire Mando. He isn't trying to kill me. <laughs> Maybe the kid. that would that would be the good uh, plot of an episode. They have to try and get Mando to, to kill, kill Boba him. so that yeah. they can <laughs> kick him, kick him, stop it, stop Boba it. thinks like, for whatever reason. Hire me, hire <laughs> me. No. Honestly, can we go back to the Boba Fett dies in the Sarlacc pit version of his story? It was somehow less humiliating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would oh, say yeah. that. Yeah. And that, I would say that's the incredible legacy of Star Wars where they Disney managed to make it so that you're like, please go back. Please, please just go <laughs> just, back. To yeah, just don't do it. Go back to the thing I hate. <laughs> Jesus. We're smarter than them. Proceeds to fly his ship into the mouth of a Sarlacc and forgets that money can solve many problems like not having to fight. Not having people to fight for him that aren't cut content from Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> I saw so many people say like that boat with the Sarlacc was not only just fucking awesome, but also really meaningful as like how far he's come and shit. And I'm just like, he's a moron. The whole scene is embarrassing to watch. How does it represent growth for him? Well, because he used to be in there, now he's floating above it with Slave One. Exactly. Yeah. So in a certain oh, sense, you can oh, okay, that's there's... meaningful. Yes. Jay, how far I've come is often represented by growth. I mentioned the Star Wars comic that I'd read that had all the Boba Fett stories in it. And one of those Boba Fett stories was he was relaxing at like this space spa, and he gets attacked by a bunch of hooligans who want to kill Boba Fett. And they show up, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll get him when he doesn't have his equipment or his armor." And uh, he doesn't have his armor, 
but due to his his fighting skills and his tactical know-how he is able to kill all of the all of the hooligans all of the the raider people without his armor and even one of the one of the guys takes his armor and puts it on and boba is still able to beat him because he is that talented he's that deadly and proficient oh you even want to show to the suck armor. his dick rags yeah well it was a neat con I, I don't know if it holds up i know as a kid when i read it i was like wow this is really cool boba fett's amazing now like a bantha yes I've grown up and Boba Fett ain't so cool no more. Make baby Benthas. You can never go back. What if we all did a oh, word? Yeah. Let's do that, yeah. We'll start with Fringy. We'll go down the line. That interview. I'm surprised you actually agree to this, Fringy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Muller is this, a uh. sourpuss who is raining down on our parade. Shut up. You, this is bat cave level cringe. <laughs> like a bat cave. That interview was painful. I feel so bad for Tamura Morrison. He no, no, no. Today's the day that no, way really better than the writers and directors and wants to do better than he's allowed to. Also, this show is constantly making me think of that gif of Squidward bashing his head on the cash register over and over again. Every minute of this show is filled with suffocating levels of stupid. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I, I would amend that analogy well. very slightly. Squidward is the audience, you, and Disney is bashing your head into their cash register, which is Star Wars. Yes. Hey. To be clear, the best episode of Book of Boba Fett is the one where he doesn't appear for a single second, and one of the better episodes featuring Mando isn't a part of his actual show. But the really weird thing is that this episode feels like it was thrown out there to satisfy the bad backlash the first four episodes got, which doesn't make any sense because they were all filmed months ago. But did they make the first four intentionally bad so Mando would get a better reception? Did they take, uh, did Jade Skywalker Boba Fett just so Mando would look better by comparison? So bizarre, confusing situation no matter which way you cut it. I assume that they actually intended to make the Mando ones, and then they threw yeah, in the Boba ones to flesh out the show because they didn't have anything else. Mm. It definitely feels that way now, especially with, yeah, episode five, because it feels like now we're actually doing a story, whereas Book of Boba Fett up until this point has felt pretty, uh, scattershot. Yeah. Um, I'm very curious about this next one we're about to get. Like, Same here, because, man, <clears throat> I don't know, yeah. Several people are trying to kill Mando, and they all aim at his armor. Mando himself accidentally hits himself where he doesn't have armor. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty funny. <laughs> it's so the funny. only way we get, a, we get him to get injured is when he hits himself. I think I compared it ridiculous. to the Omnidroid. <laughs> it's the only way we can damage it. It has to be itself. <laughs> Does that mean that... Does that mean on the floor of that meat processing plant, there's this little slice of Mandalorian that's just <laughs> Ooh, this little thin, yes. little thin <laughs> little Mando thin. skin that's and just remember, on the ground? remember, it's a butcher, so someone might mistake that for food. It's I don't okay. think they will. Slice of kebab, nice. Someone out there has eaten Mandalorian. <laughs> Mando ham. Accidentally. Mm. Yeah. What's the uh, the zinger like that's printed on the packaging for Mando ham? Uh, this is the way? I don't know. This is the... <laughs> This is the I, ham. I this is the uh, ham. This is the not ham. not a clever pun or anything. Just this is the ham. This is the <laughs> ham. <laughs> I love how they kick him out of their religious sect and don't confiscate either the priceless Mandalorian edge sword or the supremely valuable Mandalorian forged armor that identifies him as one of them. Now, yeah, I would only want to clarify. I suppose those things belong to him, but it does feel like there's something funny going on where it's like. This sword will allow you to rule us, but you're kicked out. You can't also, be one of us anymore. You're not part of our super duper club. And so, yeah, I think Rags makes the joke at the time, but it's just like, man, will be like, I I'm keeping this. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it. Um, so, you know, I, it's an interesting bit of development to have the Mandalorians value that over... I was like, there's three of y'all, and one of you wants to fight to the death, and then you excommunicate one of them. <laughs> Well, like, um, this is dumb. I can't remember if we went over it, but uh, Mando only considers what he did with the droid to be taking off his, his helmet in front of a person, right? But he took his helmet off to eat food in episode four, and they mm -hmm. said, have you taken it off at all? Have you ever removed your helmet? No. Has it ever been removed by others? Never. It's like, well, he's allowed to take it off to eat food, right? Or are you guys not? I hope so. In which There's case, gotta be. He has that a that long straw healthy. that he uses, um, he plants his well, food, he, he took and, it and off. he has a straw. So, you know, I guess he broke it then. He's just referring yeah. to that. He wasn't even talking about the, uh, the head healing scene. Hey, no, hey, hey, hey. Learn media literacy. We're supposed to assume that, <laughs> no. that she means something that isn't stupid. 
Are we sure? <laughs> well, sorry, we're supposed to assume that she means the less stupid version of what she, she says, could be saying. You ever taken the helmet off? And the big guy's like, never. It's like, never. <laughs> but I assume so. I assume that means that all Mandalorians have very bushy beards and long hair, and it's just once it gets under the helmet, they just zoom, they just laser it off. Mm -hmm. So each one of them has a perfectly helmet shaped do underneath their helmets. <laughs> and then someone will be like, well, obviously they can shave. It's like, ask her that. It doesn't seem to no, be. No, it yeah, isn't obvious. obvious. It is Nothing about the Mandalorians is obvious other than they're a bunch of cuckoo weirdos that I'd never mm. want to be. Say, for example, he'd killed the big dude in the duel, and then she tells him about the helmet thing. She's like, you're not a Mandalorian. Then he just goes, you're not a Mandalorian. I am. <laughs> yeah, at that point, there's only two of us. Who yeah, the like, fuck, the meaning of it. Is dictated by her? You're like, well, fuck you. What if you I fall disagree. off a platform or something? <laughs> he just like, pushes what, what her and he's then? like, I am the last Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, I am the ruler of the Mandalorians by default. You have to you do cannot. a robot voice. Doc Security, you cannot board a commercial flight with weapons. Mando, I grew up surrounded by weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up surrounded by weapons. Well, Imagine there was like a like a like a priest <laughs> or something who'd been in a, a clergyman for decades in decades and he has to take a taxi to the other side of town and the taxi guy says uh 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 i have a special rule atheists only you have to renounce your your religion if you want to take this taxi <laughs> he's like but but my religion is everything i'm i'm a i'm a priest and i i love the jesus and crawl and i would never i'd never do that and the taxi's like yeah but that's the rule of the taxi and so the priest is like okay uh <laughs> hail satan uh i i give it all up <laughs> In fact, here, and he starts pulling out rosaries and holy water and wooden stakes and just all kind of stuff like that from his pockets. And He's a vampire in the hunter. Trunk. The cab driver yeah, just has priest, like a little priest compartment to drop these in for all the customers. He's like, come on, yeah, just throw them in. He says, but my religion is my religion. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, something the EFAB crew missed about that redemption where We Mando would never miss anything. ...has to jump into a lake or whatever. They both mentioned that Mandalore uh, and this place are destroyed, so they literally have no uh, way to redeem him for his helmet. They're legit idiots. Yeah, uh, so a couple people were saying... she'd not... come up with a spot or something, or like a task. Still, I think my reading of that was, yeah, it probably doesn't exist, but I bet you it does. Like, it, it still does somehow. Like a piece of planet um, floating out there with the river on it or something. Well, it's like, <laughs> <Mandalore's> <laughs> being I, I, I figure that it exists in some capacity, even though... Yeah, like, shouldn't. it didn't get vaporized. Like all yeah, so, I mean, It's a river, right? So I'd assume that there's still water there. I have there. no idea, because this is apparently... In, was this in the Clone Wars that this happened? Oh, okay. Well, I... Yeah, then... I, I guess what I mean is, uh... I can believe that it doesn't make sense, but I'm guessing that we're going to that we'll place find and it out. still exists yeah. in some capacity. Yeah. Well, maybe it Mando Season really... 3 is going to be about getting there, right? Like, could be. Yeah, pr well, that seems like the hook, right? There's all this man Mandalore. Uh, God, I can't Mandalore wait for an stuff. entire arc based on him having to apologize for taking King off Mandal a hat. King Mando. <laughs> yeah, that's Mandalore. really meaningful. I can really uh... connect with that as an audience member. Oh, I sure do hope that he gets to be a Mandalorian again. That would be really bad if he couldn't be one of them. The crazy They'd have people. to change the name of the oh, show. Yeah. Then he might have to... Well, he might be able to take his helmet off. You joke, but like, is he allowed to be called Mando now? Shouldn't it be Bob or whatever? Or Din? <laughs> to the ways of the Where are we going? Jedi Ooh. must forego Jedi. all attachment. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and... Solidarity are the way. What shall I forge for the No, family? that's not true though, because if you take your helmet off, then fuck loyalty and solidarity. It means that you've been disloyal and dis so the, the other thing. It must be really You've been liquidy, be you've been really dis easy to steal a Mandalorian's identity. <laughs> yeah. I like this previously yeah. that's not showing the last episode. <laughs> Oh, I guess we're going back to Boba then. Yeah, of course. God damn it. I have plenty of credit. No, don't show this part again. What I'm short on is muscle. No. <laughs> Why does his uh, breastplate have like lights sure on would it? it? Oh, yours doesn't. No, no, I don't want people to see that. No, you need money, but Mando. No, he's, he's You have nice. to buy he's a new ship. This one is clearly not suitable. Boba was nice to him. Mm. Oh, okay. Why even show this logo anymore? Lucas, there's no point. Yay, we're on Tatooine. Hooray, Yay. I'm so excited. I sure hope that. What a shit fucking place to live. Good no wonder Luke pikes. wanted to leave. Oh, it's oh, a no, treasure chest. It's full of treasure. Loot boxes. Do you know where you are, gentlemen? 
Oh, look what it is. Think it through. Oh, it's yeah. you. Cobb something, right? Well, okay. it's Timothy Oliphant. Oh, Poplo. I'll that give you the that gun has totally You're fallen out of the holster. Here. Where did Cobb come from? Is the most pale <laughs> like, did he, he walk all the way here? He's walked all the way here. What's with his shirt? Well, that's it's the like one thing he does Marshall in the story is walk there. through the desert really far. Oh, yeah, he did that before. Out here. I'm the one tells folks what to do. Has only one of them got a gun? I think they all do, but he's gonna shoot them all and they're gonna die. That, no laws have been broken, far as I'm concerned. Just so why are you here? Problem. What are they doing? Where you came, we can chalk this one up to you guys reading the map wrong. So why don't they just leave? Why, why is this a confrontation? Why don't they just say, yeah, all right, just, they've got a deal to do, they may as well just right, leave. We're gonna yeah. leave. Yeah, just leave. Wow. Why? Why though? Hang on, hang on. He, he shot twice and three of them are dead. No, that's how... <clears throat> That's how fast he shot. Replay that in slow. If you mode. were. I can see you're the smart one. No, I'm the lucky one. I'm, I'm the slow one, actually. I'm the yeah. one without a gun. <laughs> Tell him I've heard of the syndicate. Wait, Anyone so he's heard of the Pike? So why this is going to aggravate the fuck out of him? Will be lost forever. Why is running spice bad? You haven't a why no. is this bad? It just seems like a business that you do. Trespassing, there you go. It's worth more than your town. Well then maybe I'll retire. Okay. So are you a good marshal or a bad marshal or somewhere in between? I'm not entirely clear on what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well what were they doing that was bad? Were they running spice? Why didn't they just why did I don't they have choose a door? Can he, can he like, be like, can I, wait, can I have a ride, actually? <laughs> His shirt is the opposite of in intimidating. I like the shirt. Well, I don't, like, actually, but I think it's fine. I accept it. It'd be better well, if he's, he's just... He's just straight cowboy in Star yeah. Wars. That's what the Mandalorian's supposed to be, right? Oh, it's Spice, right? Yes. Oh, it's Coco. No, close it. Or the wind is going to blow it away. No, what are you, no, do no, what are you doing? Is that... I think it's bad. Didn't or... they say it's worth more than his entire town? You could have. Why? Why? Just why? Yeah, everything. you have why it, is it now. Why is spice bad? Why do you want to get rid know. of it? I don't know. I don't know. Spice does. That's the know. problem. It makes your food taste better, and that's just illegal on this miserable <laughs> that's, planet. That's literally yeah. it. So, that's all it is. Right, so we're just. Oh, is that green? Oh, it's not Tatooine. No, it's Tatooine. It's green. Wait, how, it's, it's also about Boba Fett. How are you here? But <laughs> how are you here? But no, you were. I don't care. Not Tatooine. How... Green. Tree. Green. green. There are green trees. Green and it's cloudy. There's Look bushes. I can smell I the fresh air. So. Mm. Okay. Did he just sit in this seat for I the get, entire he's, yeah, trip? Yeah, he said he wanted to see Grogu first, right? So. Oh fuck no! I don't want to see that fucker. Uh oh. Wow. Okay. Man, yeah. we we are five minutes in. We've had two big cameos. The so really does this big. Are we gonna see Luke Skywalker? Don't. No. He's gonna have dialogue, and it's not gonna make sense at all for his character. Just like the last time we fucking saw him. How is that ship space worthy? I don't why believe. Is, you. Yeah. Why is it not? Why, don't you want to finish it? No. It's just not it looks finished. cooler without all the body panels, so... Hello, friend. For yeah. You're not friends. Bounty Hunter shows up wanting to see Skywalker. I can't remember. It's was a message. He, is he fluent with droids? Because he hates them, right? I he just... does hate them until he doesn't. Well, of course no, he doesn't. He, he likes R2-D2. Okay, That's okay. why he hates them, because well, he, he knows what they're saying. <laughs> he does. He knows, he knows what R2 is on about all the time. R2 like right is... now, R2 is on a very strong rant about R2 it. is a white supremacist. Yeah. He's... <laughs> Oh look, a creature! But, oh, that was a rock, you idiot! It was a rock. It's, it's a, a rock spot. mover. Robot. Oh wait, no, it's an ant robot because it has six legs. Mm -hmm. right. It's an ant robot because it has six legs. Well, I, I, I was going to say that. spider, but uh, I'm sure it's called ant robot. Yeah, Man, yeah they got a lot of oh, there's a lot of them. Robots. It's a whole ant robot farm. Oh, it does. It does. An look ant robot Yeah. Is that. this the most efficient way to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? That's one of those things from oh, TLJ. Oh, they're in a Jedi temple. Yeah, it's yeah. a, a temple-y temple. Where the fuck so do you I get got... all these droids from? What? They're all just finding rock. They're... Indivi this cannot be efficient at also, all. So wait, 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 wait. You need a connecting agent, right? I think um, I'll like build all up. Which is I'm pretty sure something. it would work. It just is odd that you would have incredibly advanced robots building a pretty rudimentary structure. Yeah. <laughs> is this an? Is this Mandalorian season three episode two? It seems like it. And did they just add in the Skywalker. Timothy Oliphant scene to remind yeah, us that this him? is meant Boba Fett? Meant to be Boba Fett. Well, he's a he's a Mando character. So. She is a Mando character, but it's all Boba Fett stuff with his pikes and all that. 
I Is guess. Here? Is that a bench? How long will I be waiting? Is anyone here? Anyone alive? What are we, uh, what are we... We do oh, said anyone alive, so Luke or Han aren't gonna show up. R2 turned Wait, off like he did in fucking TFA. Hunter was like, fuck this. Well, I guess I'll just yeah, wait. What? A, what? <laughs> well, at least there's something to look at. Oh, no. No, oh, it's him. Is. No, it's him. Oh. oh. He's the body. No. Oh. Don't you? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gonna get killed by Kylo Ren. Don't you have other students? Nope. No. Oh, this is the first new student in- Cyclops frog. Cyclops frog. Come on, leave him alone! He's gonna eat it. He is Cause gonna eat it. Because it's funny. <laughs> That's actually the music they're playing. It's the same music that they played as he it's ate his, all the eggs. It's his, it's his eating music of, of creatures. Oh god, he actually might do something oh, horrific man. to the frog. Oh god. Don't look, Fringy. Come on, what are you doing? He just wants to go for a swim. Yo, Grogu is hungry, so... Luke's gonna stop it. Because Luke is... Something Luke will save the frog, right? right? Luke will save the frog. He is trying to eat the frog! Grogu... Oh, he didn't even notice until he opened his eyes. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Book of Boba Fett. No That's lines. the name of the show. Say something! Do something! No, I'm, don't uh... say anything and don't do anything! Just sit there! Like an asshole. He's looking way better than he did in Mando season two. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he a lot is. more. They hired that YouTuber who's made it so that he looks good. They now. hired Corridor Digital to Corridor do it. Corridor Digital, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that shot of just his arm? Like, in... he's he's doing force stuff, Jay. Pay attention. Like, no, geez. but is it no, but is in the shot that was just like his arm out of focus, obscuring Grogu. Like, get why the shot is. No, he's had like, enough. Like oh god, frog, what are we had doing? Enough of your shenanigans. Oh wow. Oh jeez. They just want to chill out in their little he's, he's pond. Gonna, he's gonna funnel them all into Grogu's mouth. I don't even know how there's a pond <laughs> up here on the top of this hill. Why? Why would? Why? Why? Man, just standing watching the frog. What is this? Oh, what frog? What the fuck am I watching? What are you doing? What's going on? All the frogs are like, dude, this is not cool. <laughs> like, Yo, this is not fun my little for us. froggy mind. It's not fun for us. Dude, is what, is this, what is this time clown timeline I'm living in? What are you doing? <laughs> Put just, down what is the, the scene? I... He doesn't even set him down gently, yeah. he just pops him back. <sighs> Holy shit, we've jumped oh, no, another no, five minutes and nothing's happened. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for a walk. You should probably carry him. He's he's he has to He's make a little go. baby. <laughs> he keeps up with the he can't walk as fast as you. He keeps it. Oh he's jumping. <laughs> jumping. Oh yeah. my god. How did He's doing the Yoda thing. Oh my god. Wait, is Luke doing that? Yeah. yeah. Just pick him up, fucking hell. Why do it like that? What? <laughs> Stop it! I want to tell you about someone you remind me of a great deal. His name was Yoda. Hey, you remind me of the only other guy of your race that I've met. He would say <laughs> Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? Do you remember back home? I'm a child. I have no cons. I don't even know if I'm sapient. It feels so <laughs> awkward to watch this when it's meant to be kind of happy and stuff, but we know where it ends. You also, know? yeah, yeah. Gru is set to be killed by Kylo Ren, so. Well, unless they find a way to get him out of that situation. Which they might. Well, they will, well, they will right? Lost but I, I guess it's just awkward to see, like, Master Luke Skywalker training apprentices when you know how it ends. It's just really awkward. Not to mention, um,. Grogu's not gonna be, like, a character for another, what, 100 years or some shit? Wait. Probably 100 years. What? What are we- are Oh. We... Uh, Remember the- Oh, he's got his lightsaber backhanded, so he'll do triple damage. Dude, the era we've entered into where you have to pillage from the prequels as well. Yes. Yeah. Man, these Jedi suck. Well, I mean, I'm happy that they're keeping in continuity with the prequels. Yeah, that's- I just that's find it good. funny, that's Ooh. all. Like, yeah. they never wanted to touch these in 2015. How did how did Baby Yoda escape this? Okay, I guess we're not gonna find out. Is we knew is we knew Anakin that in the, in the, in the raid them? on the Jedi Temple they killed no. all the kids. I yeah. think Anakin's gonna maybe Anakin's save Grogu. Why would Anakin save Grogu? He killed all the other kids. I know so, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. They're gonna do it. Is it Mark Hamill doing Luke's voice here? Could be. I think so. Because he, he actually sounds young. Mark think, Hamill is a pretty good voice yeah, actor. Yeah, he might be able to impersonate right. himself at a younger age, sort of thing. 
No, oh, no, go away. You have one. more cameos. Yeah, we get, we get one per five I minutes. I told you it would be another cartoon character showing up. I, mean, I thought you meant like a new one. Oh, it probably will be. Keep At this rate, we'll have like four more new characters. <laughs> yep. What is this place? There's nothing now. But will someday be a great school. It's gonna be a school. Grove oh shit! Do you not have like? So, can you not get some republic funding like or something going. so you can get like air conditioning? This maybe? is this is the planet He's where everyone gets killed. And Grogu is his first nice. student. I want to see him. I know you do. Let us take a walk. To the kid or just? Well, whatever kills time, right? So. We, we, yeah. we, I'm, I'm glad that we're not doing Boba Fett this episode. The Boba Fett. Well, what do you mean? Uh, like, like, <laughs> some stage? Like, no, I'm happy to not see him anymore. But it's his show. I don't care. They, I don't like him. Hendo <laughs> <laughs> must be really, really hot in that outfit with the armor and the helmet and mm -hmm. covered up fully. There is fully. no place in the galaxy more safe than here. Got to be really sweaty. No place more safe than here. Really? I don't, I don't understand why you're all right with Skywalker's decision to train the kid when you wouldn't. Because it was his choice. Then it's my choice to go and see him. Are you doing this for Grogu, or are you doing this for yourself? No one knows why he's doing anything. Yeah, no one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I really don't know why he's doing anything. I want to give him this. Me three. Why? A napkin. So he will remember. That's the only napkin on this planet. No. Guarantee you, it's Grogu it's armor, and it's gonna be. Foundling. It should it's be. It should be more armor. than what's it's in right. there. Because it was a spear's worth. I don't know where the re maybe the blacksmith has the rest. I mean, she does... She's gonna make not weapons with it. This armor will protect him. Armor. Yeah, it's gonna be chamber. It's a very small piece of armor. If you're set on it, then allow me to deliver it. No, fuck off. Fuck you. I'm gonna give I it to him. This way. Bitch. Oh, there's not much in this conversation at all. He's there's right not much there. in any of them. Mm hmm. Go, go on. Yeah, go give it to him. Fly go use your leg. Can't catch yeah. you. Grogu misses you a great deal. Okay. If he sees you, he will be happy. It will only make things more. <laughs> we can't have that. Oh, is he just gonna take Grogu and we'll have another season of him no, and why Grogu? No, can't, why can't Mando just visit every once in a while? Hey, Grogu, it's me. How you doing? You keep it the up Jedi your studies? Are you studying? Suck, Are you make reading it sad, your Jedi text? Grogu will be sad. It's sad that he gets to see Mando every once in a while? Yeah. Make sure he's protected. It's... Oh, there you go. He's not gonna see oh, him. Oh, fuck. It's so stupid. If you came all... Fuck, this show's dumb. I like how everything... Uh, every organization sucks. Yeah. In Star Wars, every well, organization. They tell us the logic here is like, Jedi. if you see the baby, it'll be sad that you come and then go. It's like, well, yeah, that's how that works. Like, yeah. that's how visiting works. I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be okay with Ahsoka. It's not. Yeah, she'll just give him the armor and say, I, I don't know, I made this. <laughs> like, yeah, I found this on the ground. The, the imagine, like, you. imagine being told that Mando showed up on this planet in person, but you weren't allowed to see them. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Like, He's don't gone. piss me the fuck off. All right, then. I'm glad. I, I'm glad Kylo Ren killed these people. I am too. He was <laughs> Kylo Ren was right. Fucking kill the Jedi. <laughs> Kylo assholes. for president. Kylo for galactic backpack. It's like when he was carrying Yoda on the backpack. What are you gonna train him? In? Why are we still here, Luke? You're gonna be dead by the time this kid is like five. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump. Really? So it oh, can't understand. It's a fucking baby. <laughs> jump, and as you do, feel the force flow through you. Force what jump. does that mean? Force jump. Do it. Little shit. What if he just like shoots into the fucking atmosphere? <laughs> nice. Yo. Oh, I guess we're done with that training. Like, so we, we are just doing this for the reverse point? now. Why would Luke Well, not running... reversed, actually, but still, yeah. yeah this, it's well, what if the baby it's, flew it's, out? It's, it's, <laughs> we'll sing you. So it's, <laughs> it's, 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 we're, we're doing, we're doing Empire, but it doesn't make any sense because... Luke, why is Luke doing this? Luke is doing... Well, well, how does Baby Yoda hug. benefit from Luke is doing the Dagobah running, and now it's with Baby Yoda. This is amazing. I guess he's. I guess he's just keeping fit. But How with are baby you Yoda there? That? There's no way that's strong enough to hold you. Oh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. <laughs> Look, the wide world exists in balance. Feel the force all around you. So lame. What are you thinking right uh, now? I mean, it's better than most of what we've got. I don't know that you. Are you sure? Or does it just look uh, nice? I mean, God, scenes, think about what we're getting. This just scene, think yeah, about. You just happen to see a tree. True, I am. Which I am as well. Why are we still <laughs> here? What are we doing? We're nearly halfway through the, the episode. 
This is the book for cat credits. What is he doing? What? I feel so bad for this kid who. Like, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> well, he, can, he can lift frogs out of the water. He'll let him watch some cartoons. Jeez. Better. We're still here. We're still watching it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, we that dream. Yeah, kill that baby. It's, it's funny, though, because, like, the stupider the, this is, it's just stupid. But when it's, like, when it's even approaching being in character and faithful and, and nice, it's like, yeah, I know how this ends. Is he going to give Grogu the lightsaber? Wait, the dr he's going to give him the little shooty robot. I mean, what, we're not doing what, this what, yet, are we? Jeez. Look, remember the things? Remember the stuff? Yeah. Remember the things? Remember the what, things? What's going with it? Is it a football? No, that, is, no, that isn't how it works. Yeah, stupid well, baby. Well, fucking kid doesn't know. Stupid, stupid fucking baby. <laughs> fucking infant. So what is the monitor Luke and his treatment of this baby? <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I'm starting to think? Is, like, is this the Luke Skywalker show episode one? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Is this, the is this the... <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Get back up. Always get back up. Always get back- You haven't even had a chance to get back up yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, even... I'm shocked. I'm a little <laughs> infant child that's been shot at by this robot. <laughs> Do it again! I don't want to live with you what anymore. The, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, Jeez, Look at that the actual fuck <laughs> is that was fast. At... That was real fast! Look at him go! <laughs> so I don't feel like we're getting a montage here. I feel like it's no, just... it doesn't feel like a montage. It feels like it's been one day. Yeah. Well, yeah um, what we want is like we want this as a montage with like, oh, he's wearing different clothes and. Like, Grogu is gonna day, be killing right, people with lightsabers. Are we supposed by the to? End of this show? Like, is this supposed to be like? Remember when Yoda jumped around with fighting Count Dooku? It's like that yeah. or something. He's <laughs> he's Yoda. Look, he's jumping. It's our only one. It's the only one we got. It's the only one we got. It's the only one. It's the only oh, one we have. Oh, you No, have. that's the only one we have, you asshole. You put this fucking like baby. You have a lot of anger in you, creature. I, you've taught him well. It's more like he's remembering that I'm actually teaching him anything. Sometimes the student guides the master. Go sometimes on. the student guides the master. Yeah, sometimes. You can't <laughs> no, disagree here. with that, Rags. It's the context of her it's saying true. this here. About a baby? Uh, yeah, they, that's the real problem. They've, re they've recreated a young jump. Mark Hamill for this entire episode. She hasn't even what, given like, him the thing yet. This was a day. Uh, it's been about a day, It's yeah. been an hour, at most. <laughs> I mean, that sun has been be dead I yet. It feels like it's the same time of day. So much like your father. Um... Okay. Sensitive subject. Yeah, I guess almost, honest, dynamic, honestly, was that a reverse shot? No, the look that he gave it came across reversed. as like, that's not your fucking business. God, imagine yeah, if Luke, was good. trust your instincts. I'm glad they've Ahsoka got, like, was to tell you that. They've got a very serviceable de aged Mark Camel. Imagine if they did something good with that. What is so he? disappointing. What does this oh, have to do with Whip Hust or Boba Fett? We're almost at two thirds. Wow, man! It's a Boba Fett. This is, is a seven. A e this is a seven-episode show, right? Yeah, the next episode's the finale <laughs> of, the, of the Boba Fett show. I I cannot and stress that. Back. Oh, you? Back with Mando in the Boba Fett show. I'm glad he didn't have to. <laughs> so I guess I guess trip. we just had like a 30-minute oh. detour of here's Luke for some reason. Like, okay, so now we're back. So now we're doing the actual plot of the show, okay. So this is where the episode would have began, if not for our, some bonus stuff we had filmed hmm. already. <laughs> oh, he's got an axe. Be careful. What you doing, parking here, boy? We don't like your guy around here. I like how their security for their their airport is a guy with an axe. I was going to say, right, isn't as it? if he was going to stop Mando. Oh, not the... Yes, the cyborgs are here. Have you never been to an airport, Rags? Whenever the insecurity, there's just one dude standing there with an axe. That's on the runway. Yeah. Can I just there's say just how a fucking guy cool walking it is. outside with an axe on the runway. Ain't it really cool how we've collected all these awesome characters throughout the show and they're all getting together now? <laughs> mm -hmm. great. This is the Avengers Assemble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're our cringe team. There's the Three black chrysanthemum, and those are the cyberpunk. Cyber 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 that's, that's hatless Boba. This is the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. Hello. I'm Thanks way more effective than all of you put together. I'm actually not a Mandalorian, I'm not a Mandalorian anymore, by the way. The mods have done a thorough job of surveying the streets, but we lack the numbers to cover our territory if an all-out war comes. This is like, like of it. course, you only have yeah. like eight people. Yeah. We need foot soldiers. 
I might be able to help with that. I was I grew up surrounded by soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> but Boba Fett didn't say anything in that scene. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Tim Morrison got his way. <laughs> Maybe they finally listened to him, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, is he there. gonna recruit Jawas to help him? <laughs> How do they know that no, it's you? you? Right? You killed their friends. Well, no, but he, no, he gave him coins. Egg, he give him, yeah, if you he did pay him, give him an egg. Sure. Oh. He did okay. give him an egg, that's true. No, he's flying away from them. They have like memorials so that, you know, to Larry and, and Jerry and Adam knew, and They knew that Steve. was Bando? Like, it was waving How at him. How could they possibly know? And also, you're about a minute behind Always me on that one. incredibly good vision. So he is going to recruit uh, Timothy Oliphant then? Mm -hmm. I guess so, yeah. We'll have him in the <laughs> other team, why not? Why does he hire a guard? Recruit. <laughs> well, wait, but if this scene is like five minutes... We're, we're almost done. Yeah. You want to park <laughs> This show. You want to park your starship? You gotta do it out there in the flat. I'm looking for Marshal Vance. I don't think you heard what I said. I heard you. I'll take it from here, deputy. Where did you come from? Wait, oh, did you not see him? <laughs> How did he just fucking disappeared out of thin air? How did he just come from? He was just standing in a way. He was obscured by the other guy from the in camera. The camera. <laughs> every, every single angle, he was moving he behind was the right guy. There. He's much <laughs> taller than him, too. That's what it's. Can I buy you a drink? So that we really, we're, this isn't their only scene. We're gonna have several. The, the Boba Fett. Show. Hey, Boba Fett was in this episode. He didn't, he didn't say, say a word. But he wasn't <laughs> it. Yeah. No, but but he was there. <laughs> you know. Ever. Can confirm he was there. But it's all oh, do you think that planet. they put the skeleton we here and then they built the building around it, or they? Found a way to fit the skeleton into the building. No problem. Well, it's it's that Family Guy joke so with the couch, like trying to squeeze in the fucking. Right easy, easy. Right no, stop, 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 stop. Twist it. I am. And we're gonna Twisted have that with Star Wars edit. thing, right? Yes, it was. That's why it works on multiple well, levels. I'm not sure I'm gonna find a way to put it in the edit, but we'll see. the Pike Syndicate has us outnumbered, and we need your help. The town wants no part of it. I'm gonna recruit city, your towns population is warriors to fight some random what I mean, the just, fuck just grabbed call why don't you do. the rest. surely well, star surely, wars yeah. are not devoid of people who want to fight for money surely like as a as a bounty hunter you know of yes, mercenaries right. and like no maybe like a band know of mercenaries like, no, no, for hire. Maybe? he's only aware of the people we've seen him meet in this show there's no easy way to ask for a favor <sighs> i'll tell you what things are tough around here but i'll see what i can do I mean, I, I, I'm not against people. the idea of hiring Cobb specifically because he's a he's a gunslinger. gunslinger he's pretty good. Yeah, but him like, specifically, sure. I don't understand the whole like, yeah, I need your people. Like, they're a bunch of random like they're miners, aren't they? Like, leave yeah. them alone. Remember what happened last time you recruited yeah. the townspeople? They all got the melted. Yeah. Yeah. He should recruit melted. the banther. Yeah. He should recruit the banther. He can eat <laughs> the enemies. <laughs> We're up surrounded by. Oh. Really? Oh, is it a bad gunslinger man? Really? He's is a, it a, he's is a it Clone the... Wars guy who's coming. Yes. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. You can tell already. But I'm already. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah, a cowboy he's got hat. A, he's got a yeah. very distinct look. Um, where the hell did he come from? It looks like he just walked in from literally the did desert. He walk in? <laughs> and the only reason he noticed is because the wind chimed. Yeah, from why are you well, you see, he causes wind to happen. Right, are we, doing, are we really desert, doing more of not Boba? He just came in from nowhere. The middle of the desert. He just appeared. <laughs> he's getting here. He's, he's getting. He's yeah, going. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know who that is. It means oh, nothing to me. Deputy's gonna get shot. To establish that this new person. There's no is way. Bad. Yeah, they're telling us the deputy man is aggressive, so he's definitely dead. Why are those down there? Yeah, I was about to ask. <laughs> Bit of an annoying reach. Yeah. Whatever Fat is paying you will match. And all you've got to do is stay put. Hey, the marshal ain't for sale. Wait, the marshal ain't for sale. Didn't he just get hired by Boba Fett? <laughs> Shut, up. Shut the fuck up. I think that's what Cobb's face was. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. You don't have a nose. You don't have a nose. <laughs> hey man, that's just what his people's nose. He is. never has to be careful where he sticks his nose. I would, I would love it so much if the fucking sheriff replied, "You don't have a nose." <laughs> you don't have a nose. I actually right. really like that. Boba Fett is a cold-blooded killer who worked for the Empire. Wow, those blue gorgons are distracting. Never give I know, him right? Armor. Uh oh. Oh.
So the second guy just didn't shoot. Oh yeah, I guess he just didn't do anything. And I guess. Oh my god, his fingers are so flumpy. Loopy fingers. He's very Tatooine flumpy fingers. Belong Tatooine belongs to the syndicate. As long as the spice keeps running, everyone will be left alone. Oh my god, he's so cool. Guess it's time to walk, walk all the way back. <laughs> 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 so they brought him back just to kill him? What if also dude, he's facing his back to the whole town after killing the yeah. sheriff. No, uh, he's not well, dead, he's just hurt. Well even even still. Oh no, this fight is all problem. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, that's so, that's yeah. what they're gonna go with. The whole town's gonna fight now. Oh I love this one. Just, 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 just. I, I like I love this one. Be quiet. Where's Max? I don't really mean anything if Max isn't here, yeah. Oh my god, did you see how poorly the fucking musician was miming in the back? That was hilarious. He was just vaguely wafting his hand towards his guitar. Can we take your helmet for a cleaning? No, that's dumb. I want to clean my helmet? What kind of fucking... What the fuck? Kind of a thing? <laughs> Imagine if you walked into a, an establishment and they're like, do you want us to clean your clothes? Like... <laughs> No, I, no I came right here for a to drink, her. not to clean my shit. <laughs> That's not real liquid in there, and those cups are clearly glued to the tray so that they mm. don't fall off. You're nitpicking, Rags. Yeah. They put a bomb it, in there, didn't Yeah, there was like a bomb or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They weren't out yet. They're oh, dead. Not, not the sexy Twi'leks. I can see that all of us care about this. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I'm just glad something happened. Oh, well, oh, we're back here again. Uh, why are we here? Was, it, was there a character what, what in the show called Boba Fett? Relevant? A Boba Fett show? Is there a character in the show Boba Fett? I don't think so. I think the end robots what go. do you eat? How do you they, cook food? Just at the, why can't they admit they just want to make a generic, like a generically all-encompassing Star Wars show? Star Wars show like, yeah. just admit it. Just, just be honest with yourself. Oh, he's gonna like, take it's out all unclear the when we start before. an episode of the Star Wars show which characters we're going to be spending time with, and that would be fine. This is me thrill. Bilbo yeah, said it it's, uh, it's worth so more than the Wall of the Shire. And he's going to grow out of that. Scales. Hang on, hang on. Was that the entire Beskar spear went into that? Yeah. I've been well, saying this no, forever. I don't No, there's, there's, no. Oh, what? Are you giving him a little mini lightsaber? Give him a, a little tiny, give him sting. Oh my god, sting. no, no, don't no, give him a no, little. it's his first day. This is a lightsaber. Please, Luke. Please. <laughs> Luke, no. This is very oh, unresponsible. Wait, 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 wait. He just said it belonged to Yoda. It's Master Yoda's. That's, how did you get that? How did you get that? How did Don't you give get it that? to him. Don't. Do not oh, hand this off. to the no. baby. What are you doing? No way, shape, or hey, form. Can't you just make, you just make a new sword? Do we need to get someone else's? So irresponsible. Give the baby the lightsaber, please. You're a terrible parent. Hey, I choose only one. <laughs> You what? know the other green. This is the this is the lightsaber. Mm. I wait. Really? If you choose the armor, you'll return to your friend, the Mandalorian. However, you will be giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. But if you choose the lightsaber, I will train you to be a great Jedi. It's Why are you letting this tiny child make these important how is the baby, life decisions? How is it supposed to understand the gravity of this decision? <laughs> Give the I lightsaber. I really love that he's giving like and he's giving him Yoda's you. lightsaber. I imagine him going up to like Finn and saying. Hey man, here's Lando's blaster. <laughs> Why give me Lando's blaster? Oh, you, you know, I feel like it. No would be, reason. No know, reason at all. It will take you many years to master the ways of the Force, and you may never see the Mandalorian again. You are not prepared to make these decisions. Yeah, you just do not understand. Incredibly the irresponsible. On yeah. this part, is, so I yeah. guess he's still in character. Which do you choose? Oh, right, that's going to be our hook for season three. We don't know. What the That'll fuck? be the, the bait. What, what was that? What that was that? Was a Dave Filoni. That, that was a... That's... What are we doing? What is happening? I, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm, what is I'm just... this? What a dumpster fire. It's been two episodes since Boba Fett said any words in the <laughs> yeah. Boba Fett show. Yeah, what like, this is not done? the Boba Fett. This is not the book of Boba Fett. This is The Mandalorian season three. I How does Tamara Jay Morrison feel it. about It's the this. Star Wars show. It's generic as hell. Right, We're just getting is. Star yeah. Wars stuff. There's Luke. There's Ahsoka. There's, uh, it's Cad Bane, right? That's his name? Yeah, there's Cobb. Yeah. There's... 
obviously bad. It's though. everybody. We're doing. We're, it's everybody. We're getting the whole crew together. And I guess next episode we just have an army to fight the Pikes. Yeah, but we're we doing a big, a big fight. It's just gonna be a big fight in the last episode. Yeah, and then they'll okay. be like, join us for season three of Mando. <laughs> with Boba Fett presumably will guest star. It, Boba Fett, he guest stars in his own show. It feels I've never like seen the this only reason like, that scene was in there was just to remind you that, that, that this is what we're doing. <laughs> Why do we see the Jawas again? Was that just <laughs> saying hi to the Jawas, you know? I'm hey, legit we curious to, we what to Tamara Morrison feels like. They are, they are like hauling the skull of the sandworm. Yoda getting shot by the fucking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I feel like they had to make up for lost time and making the syndicate or whatever like bad. Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we just still have don't to know why. I guess. And I still don't really yeah. know why. You interrupted would, the, yeah. their business well, the, and they've attacked you as a result. That seems normal. That's the problem we've entered into though for like the finale. So we don't really know who the syndicate are and, and the pikes and what they want. We don't really know what yeah. Spice does. We don't really know what the state of affairs is across Tatooine or the Outer Rim or anything. Yeah, or just like let what them... the huts want or anything. Wait, 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 just, gonna have, like, it sounds like they level. just want to move Spice with their gun train. That's all it sounds like they want to do. Basically, just let them yeah. do it. Just and all the, we what? have to it's work with off your back. is that they apparently shot at the Tuscans, which presumably that could have started ages ago that they shot at each other. We have no I idea. bet the Tuscans started it. I wouldn't be the, surprised. Yeah, the, most, the, the most evil thing we've seen them do is still the gun train, and that's basically still all we know about them. And, and even still, and, Cad, and we're, Cad Bane and has next turned up. Next episode the finale. Cad Bane turned up because he would have been told that three of the Pike Syndicate were killed and their operation was stalled by some guy in the middle of Moss Pelco. So he clearly came here to tell him to fuck off, and he offered to pay him, yeah. and then they end up in a gunslinging fight. So I'm still sitting here like, I don't really know who I'm supposed to be rooting for? I'm a little confused. Yeah, yeah I... Because he's the good guy. Well, he's yeah, called the Book of Boba Fett. He's Cobb is also the good guy, you know? We should be sad that he was shot, and I'm just like, I don't fucking know what happened here. I don't, I I don't, don't know what care. happened. I feel like it's a problem that you've had. You've made a show about a crime boss, but, like, you don't want to do a... Uh, you don't want to do... It's it's black and white. It's just like, a boss. The good it's guys. just a boss. It's he not a crime a boss. Vague, you're right. He is just a vague boss of things, and the pikes are the bad guys. There's not a back and forth. It's not a steady escalation. It's not one mistake. Someone gets killed, yeah. and then it causes a blood feud. Like, we're not... What, why is it meant to be a crime lord show when there's nothing of the sort in this? And then we spend two episodes on Mando instead. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is insane that so four, four of the episodes were spent on... What did we achieve in that? It's like, we Mainly found out... we learned that he liked the Tuscans. Yeah, the Tuscans I know where he got a stick from, from, so that's... And he got, got a stick, stick from. from. His tick. And he no killed the Sarlacc. He killed the Sarlacc. He forgot he that he... drove his ship into it. Mm -hmm. You'd never have seen this coming. What a Frankenstein no. of a show. Yeah, I would say that mad. this episode in particular, like the last episode just felt like a Mando episode. This one felt Frankenstein. It felt like they put the Cobb stuff at the beginning and the end to remind you that it's Boba Fett, and then they had that little bit in the- And then they put Boba Fett, Fett in I to remind you it's Boba Fett. I yeah, still stand exactly. by it. Cobb Van, to me, comes across more so as a Mando thing, not a Boba thing. Yeah. I guess in a certain sense, it's just that now he seems to. This was okay. like them connecting I, a Mando like, thing to Boba, you know? Yeah. So this is this was clearly supposed to like it wouldn't feel out of place for him to appear in the Boba Shet uh, Boba Shet Boba, Boba Shet Boba show. Shet. Like if Mando didn't appear, I could still see this decision where he appears, right? And you'd be like, oh, I know him from Mando. Whereas, like, like if you cut all the Mando stuff from the episode, I think he'd probably still end up in the story that they'd write. If they didn't, if they weren't splicing in the Mando stuff they've already filmed, I could totally see him still ending up in there. But it's still, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. That's pretty bad, though, that one. Well, so I've, I've been hearing from a lot of people that this episode is great and easily the best. I, and I'm, uh, because it's Luke obvious is why. It. It's obvious. Because I'm living in upside down clown world. The well, last one was the best one, not this oh, one. Yeah, yeah the last um, one's I, I still think now. it's better than any of the uh, the first four. Um, I don't know if I agree I'm not with sure. That. Any, I, I really need All to try and separate Luke this out did. in my head, because it's like, is it good just because of the fact that Luke is being like, training is good, and you should be nice, and... Well, that's the standard, like, but then, and that, that, yeah, that then puts he, it above other shit we've seen. Except at the end, mm. when he says, hey, little baby, uh, make a decision that will impact the rest of your life. Do it. Uh, here's a sword. Here's yeah. a sword, here's some armor. Sorry, like, and, no, and, just to be clear, what? here's an object that's far more dangerous than a sword. Well, yeah, and that's the training true. droid that hits you with I know they're not lethal, but they're still blasts and he's a baby. 
yeah. Yeah. How yeah. what's Ahsoka doing? Is she just she's just around? He's just yeah, she's just around. Yeah, well, and, and then she the left after. Even, I can't even say I mean, that they brought her in because she'll be in the final. I don't know why she would be in the final. No, I, no? she'll be in her Ahsoka. Because Dave has to bring in all of his it. his guys' his characters. No, yeah. it's, it's it's just to remind you that she's gonna have her own show. That's but it. She oh, will, yeah, they are it. making it. Um, yeah. Right, because she's so exciting and interesting. Yes. How many episodes of the Ahsoka show do you think are going to have Ahsoka in it? Uh, I think that six. she'll get the whole treatment. She'll get all of the episodes and all the stuff because I think it's because it's Dave Filoni created that character. So I wouldn't be surprised if she, I don't know she got special treatment. That's what I've Imagine heard from a lot you're... of fans that she gets like protections from Dave Filoni quite yeah. a bit. Whereas Boba Fett, we just don't give a shit for some reason, which is Boobie insane. Feet. He's not my toy. I I can't believe how much they've just discarded Boba Fett, though. It's pretty wild. Got his wish. What's interesting too is imagine you're Grogu and you have all these adventures with Mando, and then you get taken away to a planet, and this weird guy, like he he shoots you with laser beams from this robot. And he makes you do all this jumping and working out and it just these weird task. And he's like, I mean, you can go back if you want. And the baby's like, fuck yeah, I want to go back. This is shit. You're shooting lasers at me and making me do flips in the woods. I don't, Mando never made me do any of this. To hell with that. He what sat if, me down uh, in the classroom and fed me cupcakes. What if, what if uh, Mando just arrives and sees Luke putting Grogu with the droid that shoots at him and it's like, Wow, I'm taking this guy back now. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna call the Republic. Actually, they need to know what you're doing here. You can't be. You gave him a continue. sword. You gave. Yeah, you gave <laughs> you him a what? what? <laughs> it's worse than a sword. It's a fucking. It's a no, it lightsaber. is distinctly worse. Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Like, and, like, yeah, if you can uh, touch a sword re- and you're fine, right? You can touch it. That's that's fine. And because we need all those member berries, it had to be Yoda's sword that he I guess, has. Yeah, I guess. And wants to give to Grogu because. Because remember. He yeah. really likes Grogu. I, I don't know. Lightsaber. I guess the Emperor hung on to it, put it in his little. Yeah, what, 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 what's the last time we saw it? Did it he got, drop it? Got it? zapped out of his hand in Coruscant when he was fighting the Emperor. Yeah, it, it fell in the yeah. Senate room, right? Yep. In the, That's the right. Senate so room. somehow guess. it went from there to loot. It's not impossible. <laughs> I mean, him having that is something that I'm not. I find. Cringe. I don't think it's hot. I... I don't think it's I, horrible that he has it. I think it's I cringe. Can believe I think it, would... it is. I I agree. I think it is cringe. I think um, it should be. I it's... created this lightsaber and it's modeled after my master's. That's simple as that. It's just. I think it's cringe that he's giving it to Grogu. More oh, so absolutely. Than he has like, it. With no yeah. question that is, on that. Of course. Yeah. That's the Grogu. fucking hook of the episode. Like, whoa! In the book of Boba Fett, do you think Yoda will? Baby Yoda will pick. <laughs> The lightsaber or the armor. I'm sitting here like, I don't fuck. What are we doing? What's I don't, happening? Not only do I not know, I don't care. I don't think I care because like it's a baby. I don't give a shit. It's I don't. There's nothing to attach which, myself. In which to way will this baby, baby flop? I don't know. I just yeah. I do not care. I don't give a shit. What a disaster. I'm sure people are lapping it up because ooh look the blue cowboy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's Ahsoka. Oh my gosh, it's Luke Skywalker. Well, when she said, oh, look, R2-D2. When she wow. said your dad would be proud, I'm sure people are creaming over that. This all began in 2015 when everyone loved The Force Awakens. And everyone creamed for it, and it made fucking two billion, zillion dollars. And everyone said it was the best thing ever, and it was Star Wars done right. And in it, that that's why we're here. We're here because everyone loved The Force Awakens. TFA is an interesting beast in that Han Solo was almost as disrespected as fucking Luke was in TLJ. I don't know that it came across as easily to a lot of but, people. Yeah, but people didn't. They just, I guess, people by and large just didn't notice or care. And I didn't notice when I watched it. Well, neither did I. Um, yeah, me neither. Yeah. It just, yeah, I just wasn't like I am now. Well, but like Mando's season two finale, it's like that was there. The I it just seems to line up right. Like TLJ was like, what an experimental idea Nails to do with this coffin. character. Then everyone hated it, and then they were like, okay, so what if we just show you Luke fucking slicing apart robots? And everyone went nuts. They're like, so you guys just want to see the stuff, stuff that you know to be the way it's supposed to be. It doesn't really matter what we're writing as long as they just they come across as what you remember. Unless it's Boba Fett. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I think maybe we're applying too much thought to their decisions. Maybe it's more so an instinctive creature that doesn't even understand, like, the concept of why it would do a thing. It just, you know, it's it's its behavior is entirely based on instinct, and it just behaves. The little, little ant droids that are building that hut, they're trying to build a franchise, but they don't know how or why. They're just told to 
pick the bricks that people pay for. I think well, yeah, we're all of the writers... too much intent to the algorithm that created this show. I'll, I will say it still uh, feels completely sterile to me, if that makes sense. When I s see any of this, there's stuff. no heart in any of it. There's yeah. no soul to any of this. There's just no meanings and no nothing feels well crafted. We could write a new story that tests Luke in a new way. Um, that he's not, you know. Maybe a kind of, you know, a, a kind of trial that he's not been through before, and moral questions that he's never, he didn't have to answer in the OT, stuff like that. You can see him go through all of that, and that would be really interesting. And it would take talent to write, and it would be the kind of, it's the kind of thing that you want to see happen to your established characters that you already love, is then go through things that you've not seen them go through before, so that you can get more of the character, but without just having all oh, the same story again. That's exactly how you do this kind of thing. Oh, we're gonna have a baby jump on a rock. This this episode had two action scenes, but they weren't like typical action scenes. Um, for, yeah. The first one was the yeah. training, yeah. right? The first one was the shootout with the pikes, and then the second one was the Cad Bane thing. Oh yeah, both of them were gunslinging like. Yeah, they ones. weren't like s uh -huh. s really long-winded fights or chases. That's nice. Also, it's fucking terrible to me that they keep having people just turn up in areas when it's like. On set, when filming, it will make sense because everyone's just in the room and it's like, yeah, just turn up. But it's like, guys, you're supposed to be trying to convince us this is a vast desert. They can't just walk up to yeah. each other. It doesn't make any yeah. fucking sense. Yeah, it's, it's like they've forgotten. Walking. It's like, wait, so this is in a city, right? No, no, in the desert. <laughs> no. So a no, in the city. middle of the desert. No, in the middle of the desert. Nothing for miles around, probably further. If you had rode in on a banther, I guess it would have made a little more sense. Well, but if he's landed a star epic shot of him walking from really yeah. far away. It's so funny. Like, it's just funny it's to me. It's so, yeah. so fucking easy to parody, right? Like. Well, it's the shot is beholden, like, the story is beholden to the shots and the spectacle. Who cares if it ma doesn't make sense? I wouldn't be we surprised if shot. people say, like, it's an incredible shot because it shows just, like, the vastness of the desert and yet Cad Bane is so powerful he can just walk right through it or some bullshit like that. I mean, it is a cool <laughs> shot, but it doesn't really, like, follow in terms uh... of what's happening here. It amuses me. He's probably very tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then just turns around and walks all the way back. It's great. Hey, what are we going to just... do in the final episode? What well, are we do? we're going to do? Who gives a shit? One left. We're just going to just going to all meet up at a point like, "Oh, this is where the pikes are. Fight, have fun." Oh my. You know what? For the first time ever, let's have just a little post episode memes. It's wild to think we could be getting a Grogu appearance next week. What's even crazier to think about is if Din travels to Luke's Jedi Temple, we could even see Han there with a young Ben oh, Solo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Fucking oh. hell. I know what all of those things are. <laughs> it's so nuts. Oh. The best mm -hmm. thing. Yum, 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 yum. Eat um, it up. Eat it up. Eat uh, the slop. Speaking is, of that, um, there you go. That is... sums up this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that I like that the three soys in the middle are just like an amor amorphous soy jack blob. Yeah. <laughs> the soy creature. Um Book of Boba Fett, episode six, hard to believe. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing. I'm sad now. It's, it's nothing. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Remember how in uh, the no, Mandalorian, no, guess, yeah. Baby Yoda couldn't understand the concept of an arm wrestle, and so he almost chokes yes. Gina Carano's character to death because he, he didn't have the mental faculty to understand an arm wrestling contest. And now he's being given... Fuck it. Yes. Fuck it. Goodbye. Right, right, say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, you gotta say oh, goodbye, goodbye, and then I can hit the button. Well, I could... No, actually, I have power now. You already said it. No, you... Like Get back up. Always get back up. What'd you bring me?